positions himself really well right here. Let's try a power strike from there. Ooh! Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to a new video. We have a new SPC Rodrigo that just recently released. Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta say a big thank you to the community again. Uh, we, I gotta keep mentioning this because it's a very big deal. Uh, for allowing me to do these player reviews because with the other community I, I wouldn't be able to get most of these cards out for you guys So be sure to give a big thank you to some of these guys that you know help me out a lot Even if they want to do it in the comment section down below I'm down for it I don't care because obviously it's very very helpful for me and it's helpful for people to understand if they want to get the card or not right in regards to my own opinion so we're looking at a car that is six foot tall with high medium work rates, left footed with four star skill moves and a five star weak foot. So obviously with players like Rodrigo, the five star weak foot is a massive, massive deal because this card was one of the baby meta cards in the beginning of the year when you wanted to make a Liga Santander team. Uh, it would be him, uh, Morales, you know, those types of cards. If they get upgraded in any way in good ways... You're looking at a pretty decent card, right? So in regards to his specific stats, he has 91 acceleration with 95 sprint speed. You don't need to improve that. Um, he has 90 attacking positioning, 87 finishing, 90 shot power. Doesn't have long shots, but we don't really take long shots with strikers anyways. Um, and he has 87 composure. So, hmm, I wonder which chemistry style I'm going to give this card. Obviously, it's going to be a sniper. A plus 12 for finishing. Um, as well as a plus 5 for attacking positioning, plus 10 for agility, plus 5 for balance, and a plus 5 for composure are going to be very, very big things to give this card. So it's obvious that the sniper chemistry style is the one that you're going to have to give him, right? Um, as it normally is. Um, in regards to his uh, defending, he doesn't have any defensive presence, obviously. He can head the ball. That, with his 6-foot height, is going to be very interesting to try out. Probably not going to cross the ball too much, to be honest, because I don't really like crossing the ball. Um... He has decent physical cap uh, capabilities as well. 85 stamina is okay. If he's going to be playing as your striker on balance instructions, not really a big deal. But 82 strength, not too bad. 89 jumping, not too bad either. So, you know, if I have to do like a goal kick or I need to throw the ball at the goalkeeper, he'll be able to win in the air. So, pretty decent, pretty decent. Like I said, I am going to slap a nice little sniper chemistry style on him because I don't know if my boy Scruffy already has him. Uh, oh, he does have a sniper. Perfect, perfect. It's always the one. It's always the one that's just there, you know. So you can see that with the stat increases with the sniper chemistry style, very, very ideal, right? The general dribbling boost that you give the card, the finishing boost. He already has 90 shot power with five star weak foot, right? A lot of good things to say about this card. He's also high medium work rates, which up top is great to have. And you guys know I have uh, a huge soft spot for guys that are left footed with a five star weak foot. I don't know. It's just they just play really well for me. I wish Bernardo Silva's moments card did the same thing. Um, in regards to traits, he has the outside foot shot and the finesse shot. So, guys, we're looking at a really good card, potentially. The only main thing, or the two main things we have to test out with this card, is what he's like off the ball movement-wise. Is he aggressive? Is he more conservative? Whatever. And is his dribbling responsive enough with that sniper chemistry style boost? Because, as you guys know, sometimes it doesn't really work that well on them, but... It might make them usable. So, the way they're going to be lined up with Rodrigo in the team is going to look like this. We're going to be using... Let's use the 4-2-3-1 over here. So, 4-2-3-1, narrow, as we normally do. With Benega playing here, Asensio off to the right. Rodrigo up top, and Dembele to the right side. Instructions will have... Stay back while attacking, cover center for the CDM, stay back while attacking for the fullbacks. And the rest of the attackers will have unbalanced, so that way we can kind of test out his capabilities, right? So we're going to go ahead and switch to the basic instructions here, and we'll basically go from there. So I just, I want to test him only as a 4-2-3-1. I may switch to a 4-1-2-1-2 two, two in game. Um, actually, I'm going to do that before we actually get into the game here. Might as well, right? Um, with Vidal playing as the CDM, uh, and then Asenio, Asensio will put over here on the left side, Odegaard, Rodrigo, on the left side, and then Dembele up top. Not a bad combo up there, too, because I think Dembele also has the five-star weak foot as well, so we'll see what's up with this card. I'm going to use him as a 4-2-3-1 first, though. Oh, this guy has a really interesting team. Wow. All right, how do you dribble on the ball? Oh, yeah, it feels way better with the sniper chemistry style. Good positioning there. The gameplay is not up to par because I did a fake shot first time. Didn't even register. I was like, nah, B, not today. Good off the ball movement. Get into position on your weak foot. 
Okay, so under pressure, he goes for like the kind of like the sweep shots, uh, which isn't too bad because he's obviously trying to reach for the ball right there. Um, positions like that, that's where you really want to try out that five-star weak foot, right? Because having to not take extra touches to take those opportunities is a really, really nice thing. The attacking qualities of fullbacks these days, but what I like about this lad is he's an out-and-out defender, hard to get past. I like his position positioning right there. Not aggressive just yet. Positions himself really well right here. Let's try a power strike from there. Ooh. That was a beautiful strike with his left foot. Nice goal. Off the ball movement was really good there. He played. I love players that play off of my dribble. So you could see that once I was using the player off to the left side and I started to transition into the middle, um, that's when Rodrigo understood, okay, doesn't really make much sense for me to continue this run going forward. Yeah, his dribbling has definitely been improved with the sniper chemistry style. Um, obviously, right there in that situation, having the five-star weak foot to be able to do a pass like that, very helpful as well. The reason why this promo is good is because of the meta of the game, right? Like, being able to improve the weak foot of a player is a massive, massive thing in making them really, really good. And because they're, they're generally upgrading uh, the stats of the player as well... It's 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 really good, man. It's it's a good promo if they do the right cards, you know. Got the ball, and they're going at the Not even a one-two pass right there. He's aggressive. Oh, he goes into the middle instantly. I love that. Very very good. Very good. Instant Ronaldo chop really good as well. Yeah, he did really well right there. I like doing the first time Ronaldo chop too because it's kind of like a controlled touch in a way, right? That kind of carries out momentum. It's really good. I'm liking his off the ball movement a lot right now, though. As a as a balanced striker, this SBC has no expiration date, which is perfect because he's a really fun card to use so far. You can definitely tell he's pretty nice. Oh, he utilizes the empty space really quickly right there. Perfect. We go for the near post shot there. Not the right choice, so it's not because of his shooting uh, qualities right there, but. Uh, the big thing that I needed to test out with this card was obviously the dribbling, and I'm telling you guys, it's actually really solid. Get him on that left foot finesse right there. Beautiful job, Odegaard. You can see that his off-the-ball movement for Rodrigo, too, the way that he's moving to stay on side as well is really, really nice. So the 90 base attacking position that he has with the plus 5 upgrade with the sniper chemistry style... It's pretty noticeable so far. The high medium work rates, I don't know, man. They just work out so nicely with the right stats, you know? Rodrigo. Nicely done. Five-star weak foot pass right there is always helpful. Now, can he take them on? Real opening now. Nice shielding there. Nice. Not, no, not a huge emphasis on that first touch. It's very, very important that he doesn't do that. Because if they do that, the, the players that are heavy, they do that emphasis touch like crazy. But him, it's just like touch and go, you know? It's exactly what you need. Okay, aggressive there. Do you transition back into the middle here? He chills there. That's good. Good off the ball movement right there. Try finesse from there? Okay. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. You have to get, like, a little bit of a smaller angle right there to be able to hit a better shot, but... I just want to... I want to test out shooting angles that are not too crazy. Like, I want to try out this one right here. We don't get that, but that's a power strike right there with his left foot. More power into that strike, we might score that opportunity. The tackle button and the shooting button being in the same place is so irritating sometimes. Oh my god, I almost got that chip shot with him. Again, having the 5-star weak foot in that situation, really, really nice, man. Alright guys, so final verdict on Rodrigo's card. Honestly, guys, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Um, the reason why the 367k price tag on his card is not that bad is because it never expires. Now, if this is from a short time frame and it did expire, I wouldn't say it's worth 367k because 
Uh, the reason why I'm saying it's worth it with the expiration date is because as you play the game and as you get on tradable cards, you get tradable cards, whatever, you're always collecting cards to put towards SPCs. And with a card like Rodrigo, you can actually do that with him, right? And would it be worth it? Yeah, because he plays really well in game. Uh, to be honest with you, he's probably my favorite Liga Santander striker I've used. I've tried to use like Gareth Bale's moments card there and everything, and I didn't really like it that much. The big thing with this card is that um, with the sniper chemistry style, you improve all the things that he needed to be improved at, and he's not missing anything else in other areas. Yes, he doesn't have long passing, but you do short passes anyways, or mostly when you're playing the game. So the fact that he already has good base card stats for, sh uh, for pace, his shot power is already there. You just increase it with the finishing, and he has 92 composure as well as good dribbling stats to compensate for the 6-foot height um, is really nice as well. So the big thing, right, is that the high medium work rates works out really well for him for off the ball movement. You can use him on bounce instructions and he'll play that really well. And I think that if you tell him to get in behind as well, it would also be um, a thing that's worth trying out. People have decided to give him a marksman chemistry style. Uh, marksman would be a waste. You need to increase the bounce for the six foot for the six foot height, in my opinion. Like I understand why people give him marksman to because when you increase his dribbling as well as his shot power finishing and whatnot, it is helpful as well as increasing his physical. I just think that the balance increase is very very important for his six foot height. So um, yeah, off the ball movement was great. On the ball he was fine. Um, I think those are the two main things that we have to try out with the car because his five star weak foot actually takes really good shots from those specific angles where you don't want to take that extra touch, right? So. Um, would it be worth doing? Yeah, maybe not for 367k like buying it outright, but if you're doing SPCs, you have players chill in your club, it would be worth it in that regard. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the, uh, enjoy the video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.